So I don't know about you, but do you know anyone who would not want to achieve financial freedom in their life? Uh, I think, you know, for me, financial freedom is one of the best things that ever happened to me. And what do I mean by being financially free? I do not mean that I'm a millionaire yet. Um, but I mean that, number one, I work because I want to and I have great joy and passion in my actual job. It is a passion and purposeful business and I truly love my work, never feel like I have to work. Number two, if I don't want to work, I don't work. Uh, I can travel whenever I want and I have a team that takes care of my business and I make money when I don't work. So for me, this is pretty much what financial freedom looks like at this moment and I've spoken in previous videos about redefining the concept of financial freedom because we always think that it has to be um, about having some sort of mansion and billions of dollars in investments and stocks but it doesn't really have to look like that right we can redefine what that financial freedom looks like for 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 us like for our individual situation so anyway i know from experience that having more freedom having having more money having more finances to to create that freedom is obviously something that brings a lot of joy and happiness and ease to life and in order to create that uh, we have to really let go of some of the lies that we have been told around what it means to be financially free and around money and finances. And this video will be especially helpful for people who are in the healing industry, who are yoga teachers, coaches, uh, maybe even personal trainers, shamans, like people who make money um, uh, raising the consciousness of the planet and doing good things for other humans. Because it seems that that group of people has the most issues with uh, aligning their thoughts, feelings and behaviors in order to create more financial wealth and abundance. Number one, let's start with the biggest lie that we have all been told and that we are telling ourselves particularly in this industry and that is money doesn't make you happy um, this is a lie and this lie is full of guilt this lie creates a lot of guilt around having financial freedom and making maybe those six or seven figures so if you deep down believe that you're not supposed to want money or that money is not supposed to make you happy of course your point of attraction will be one of guilt right you're not, you want it on the one hand but subconsciously subconsciously you believe you are bad person for wanting it so obviously uh, that kind of subconscious vibration cannot attract more money into your life if that makes sense and as we now know or maybe you didn't know if 90% of our thoughts feelings and emotions are subconscious so it's super important to be in alignment meaning that our conscious thoughts have to be in alignment with our subconscious or unconscious thoughts we have to make the unconscious conscious in order to attract and create what we want right so money doesn't make us happy supposedly i think it's a lie i think money makes you super happy i think money gives you freedom i think money allows you to do things you want uh, take care of yourself better buy organic food drive a car you want uh, travel have all the experiences that you actually really need also in order to take care of yourself uh, is money the only thing that makes happy? No. Is money in itself the thing that makes you happy? No. But it is what you can do with it, right? That creates a lot of happiness and freedom. And having been broke and lived in a car for several years and now having this amazing, beautiful six-figure profit brand, I surely feel more happy and more stable now than I did before. And I have no shame in saying that either. So if we want to attract more abundance, the first thing we need to do is to stop believing that we are guilty for wanting more money and feeling that money will make us happy or will add to our happiness. That's okay to feel. The second thing I wanted to touch upon is that sometimes people can have uh, beliefs around they shouldn't want more than they need. Uh, it's kind of related to what I was just talking about, but recently I was talking to one of my clients and, you know, she had difficulty manifesting uh, X amount more every month. And when we kind of digged into why it wasn't happening, um, we found out that she felt like she was guilty for wanting more because she had spent a lot of time with kids in slums and she felt like you know there's people in this world who have nothing so why should i want more than the absolute bare minimum now, obviously that's a very noble thing to think but at the same time you are not supposed to dim your light and to want less just because other people are suffering right in fact maybe if you had more you could do things for these people if you wanted to 
Um, you could create foundations. You could travel to these countries and, and help. You could do a lot of things with the money that you would make, right? So this idea that so many people are suffering and therefore we shouldn't want more than we need is obviously also not really valid. The funny thing is the moment that we demystified that and that we kind of got to the core uh, belief and cleared it, within no time she started attracting more money within no time like the next day things started happening so again she changed her belief system and then the outside reality started reflecting that the last thing i wanted to touch upon is the idea that if we make more money we should give to charity now obviously it's amazing to give to charity obviously it's amazing to do things for other people but particularly in the healing industry and you know like i said yoga teachers coaches all these type of people um it's like we feel guilty for receiving more and then we say something like oh yes if i would have this million dollars a billion dollars i would do this 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 and this for the world now this is completely not an aligned energy first of all if you want to do things for the world you would do them uh, but not from a place of guilt, not from a place of wanting to be acknowledged as a good human being, not from a place of, oh, only if I do that, I deserve, right? Does that make sense? So obviously you're deserving, you're deserving or you're receiving is a given fact. This is your birthright. You are supposed to be happy, healthy, abundant. This is how you're supposed to live life. And this is how everyone is supposed to live life. But now we have turned it into, oh, I only deserve that if I do good things for humanity, which is obviously, again, not true. It's a lie. We have to change that. We have to really feel that inner worth, like, okay, I am able to receive this and this and this because I am. And then after, you can choose to do whatever you want with that. You can give to the world, you can give to humanity, you can start a foundation, you can give to charity, you can set up your own charity, whatever you want. I don't know a single person who has built their own success and who does not end up doing good things for other people because that's in the end you know i guess what all humans pretty much want to do right they want to help and we know how satisfying it is to help other people and we know how blessed we are when we actually live in that much more abundant state so of course it's important to help but helping does not also necessarily mean that you give money to people helping can be done in many different ways in fact sometimes when you give people money you might disempower them anyway all in all what i'm trying to say is that money tends to be a bigger taboo than sex for a lot of people uh, money is a very interesting topic to me i find it fascinating i personally had a lot of issues with it when i was um, in my 20s and i managed to really turn that around by changing my own belief systems build a super successful brand um, found on purpose and passion and i'm actually sincerely passionate about sharing that with other people because in my work as a yoga teacher and a yoga teacher trainer um, i facilitate so many trainings and every single year 100 percent of the people that comes to my come to my trainings want to change their career are not fully happy in their job feel unfulfilled feel like they have a lot of stress and anxiety and it is my firm belief that we all deserve or that we all are worthy of having work that makes us feel truly fulfilled and that this is a possibility for everyone not just for me not just for some lucky people but for everyone so this is why i love sharing about this topic and if you are interested in more of this you can go to the link in my bio or in in the box below to go to some of my free trainings uh, or join my online 12-week business course that i have developed with my heart and soul to f help you find your passion and purpose and build a, a successful passion-based business okay have a lovely day namaste bye